Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jaffe here at Health Fit. Hey guys, Dr. Kevin here over Health Fit, and this is Coach B. Today we're gonna talk about walking because it's National Walking Day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that a couple of tips we just want to focus on today were several things like hydration stretches and I think in terms of looking at how we want to have people primed for walking or just making sure it's as safe as possible for you I want to talk about a couple of these things so coach you want to talk about hydration hydration so we know that water can be a problem for some people but to tell you the truth it's one of the most important things if not the most important thing for you to do so Let's say that we want to get an average of about four to six glasses of water a day. Just have a cup handy beside you at work. When you feel like it's running low, just go and fill it up. It's a great way to stay hydrated. Okay, so Coach B talks a little bit about, about hydration. And the other part of it too is when you're going in for, when you're getting ready for that walk, you want to be able to be warmed up. And so some things that Coach B is going to also elaborate on is just some stretches that might be good for you prior to your walking or even along your walk. So we know that we don't necessarily have a lot of time when it comes to stretches. So we're going to try to maximize two simple exercises that you can pretty much do anywhere from where you are. The first one is going to be a hip flexor stretch. So we're going to have um, Dr. Kevin and Dr. Daphne just do a quick. Dr. Kevin is going to be in this position, position and Dr. Daphne will be here. And this is a hip flexor stretch. So what you're going to do, standing with both feet together, we're going to take a step back with our just our left leg, just like this. And then what you want to do is you just want to Left relax leg. your hips. Just relax your like you're sinking into your, your hips a little bit, like you're letting yourself just kind of slouch. Then you're going to squeeze that butt cheek on the leg that's back just a little bit until you can feel a stretch right inside this area here. Okay. Now, if you're still having trouble feeling it, then what I want you to do is just take that hand on the side of the leg that's back and you're just going to raise it slowly up overhead. That's going to give you a bit of a stretch in through here and in through here. Feels good. And you're just going to just gently just lean over to that side, just squeeze it. Remember to breathe and squeeze. Just don't squeeze. fall. Okay, no falling. It's going to give you a nice stretch and it's going to open up those hip flexors because for a lot of people, they've been sitting for like a long period of time. Oh, right there. Good. Yeah, good. Now, the next stretch we're going to do is just a really quick calf stretch. So you're going to find a wall, you're going to put the leg behind you. And what you want to do is you want to, again, keep your core like a little bit strong, nice and tight. And then just let your hips fall forward while keeping your knee locked. You'll feel a stretch coming down right back here. And then you want to hold that for about 30 seconds. Then switch legs. Good. Remembering to breathe. Let your hips fall forward. Leg nice line, nice and straight. And there we have a really quick easy, simple, two-stretch exercise before you go on your walk. Yeah. All right, solid. Okay, guys, so my favorite thing about walks is that it's fun. And so how do you make walks fun, right? If you have a dog, take the dog with you. If you have a spouse, take your spouse with you. If you have your best friend, take your best friend with you. Anything that gets you moving and walking outside, it's a great way to spend time with family and with friends. It's a really great way to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. Yeah. Awesome. The other thing, too, that is after all this is said and done, this isn't something that you probably want to do just like once or twice a week. Ideally, you want to try to get this probably every 30 minutes to an hour. You might not be able to make it outside, but even if you're able to take a quick stroll around the office, you know, just go ahead and step outdoors just for a moment, just to enjoy the air. It's beautiful outside today. Sounds good. And yeah, just being able to do that movement, so important for you guys. And that way, kind of gets you out of being stiff and being stable, like stationary the entire day. That's all you want to do. So if you can get that on a daily basis, that's that would be most ideal. So these are just a few tips that you can use on National Walking Day because we want you to be safe. All right, guys. So happy National Walking Day. Enjoy. Enjoy moving around and getting up. Yeah, happy National Walking Day. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us over at HealthFit. Have a good one. See ya. <laughs>